Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Ringo TV Reactions. We got to talk TV. I'm your host, Ringo. It's your girl, Melo. Okay. We're going to be talking about a topic here. Very interesting subject about men who live off women. Hmm. Men who live off of a woman. You know, those kind of guys that they got a woman and these men, they don't make moves. They instead let the woman do all the work. They make the woman get the groceries. They make her pick the furniture. They make her get the kids. She takes out the trash. She does everything. But he takes all the credit. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. What I want to talk about is an interesting topic I've seen on YouTube. I've never seen nothing like this in my life. Me neither. I've seen a video with a YouTuber. Let's call him No Name. No Name? No Name, yeah. I've seen a No Name YouTuber do a video about a house warming and baby shower. So it's basically two in one thing. Yeah. Meaning this is an online housewarming baby shower. Have you ever seen anything like that? No. Aren't women supposed to have baby showers? Yeah, that's all I'm just about to say. When I think of housewarming and baby showers, that's particularly made for not made for well it is for a woman to start like a woman's friends a woman's who a woman friend to all right start so that. men don't supposed to be indulging in baby showers that's not masculine that's not something a man does and in this particular video that i seen with this person i didn't see the woman yeah i find i, I kind of found it I found that kind of strange. I didn't see the woman in the video addressing the people, thanking, thanking the, people, the people. Nothing. And I'm listening to this and I'm like, like, what's up with that? And everybody was giving gifts and I'm like, <laughs> what is this? Who does that? Who takes advantage of people like that? That's not, that's not normal. In my opinion, that no-name YouTuber was taking advantage of women because all I saw was women. Yeah. And I think they were being emotional because of a baby that was recently born. Right. Oops, did I give it away? Did I give it away a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I guess a little bit, but they don't know. I'm sure they don't even know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah of right. course, they don't know who I'm talking <laughs> about. Maybe I'm sneak dissing. Yeah. But I didn't diss nobody. This is a talk show. You're just talking, yeah. Right. Okay. You're so examining. I'm examining what I saw because that's a part of the show. And we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. We got to talk. Well, we not. We need. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. That's right. So mm -hmm. basically, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, this uh, gentleman had an Amazon registry set up where... People buying pots and pans and pampers. And <laughs> I'm laughing in my mind because I'm like, bruh, what are you doing? This had to be planned way in advance. You got that right. You didn't just do that. Yeah. You had it planned <laughs> to take advantage. Now, did we do that? No. Did we have a housewarming on YouTube? Hey, everybody. It's Ringo. We're having a housewarming. Here's my Amazon registry. Could y'all all chip in? Did we do that? No. I think if you would have done that. <laughs> no, I, I won't do that. It would have been the talk of the town. No, I would have got crucified. <laughs> See, wow. if, if, if I would have did that, they would have said I was begging. Yeah. Now, it's nothing wrong if friends want to support you. That's not what we're saying. Right. Friends can support you if they want. 
My issue here is if a man, right, have multiple wives, shouldn't he be able to provide? Yeah, that man's supposed to be a provider for the home, yes. Right or wrong? Yes. So I, I'm just asking these questions because maybe I'm slow. I'm just trying to figure this out. If, if I got two women pregnant, I had more than enough time to get my ish together so that I can be able to have what is needed to provide for my wives. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out with this no name YouTuber, how could they set up a Amazon registry and feel proud as a man? And, then, and letting other people. And letting other people foot the bill. I would not feel like a man. I would feel kind of bad knowing that I'm taking advantage of people when I should already had provided for my house. And I feel personally that said individuals is using children to play on the emotion of women. women. Because, you know, no men were in that video. Nope. No men. I'm talking about men, men. 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 Real men. Men are not going to entertain that foolishness. Men don't have online baby showers. Because they know. They automatically know. We already know. That's what a woman do. Yeah. And some, some men don't even attend those functions. They just we let don't. The, the women enjoy themselves. Men and... don't attend baby showers. Usually the woman girlfriends... Is the ones that's giving it. Right. Her her girlfriends, yeah. not random strangers. Yeah, her friends. You know, like your co-workers, family. family, friends. They're the normal ones that participate yeah. in baby showers. Right. But to that's come That's like online, you giving me a baby shower. Right. Oh <laughs> I can't give you a baby shower. But here's the thing. You wouldn't even know what to do. Like, I don't like, even know what to do. What so do you do? That, so like, you buy a balloon? So that means, like, basically, I will be telling you what to do. Right. Right. You're telling me what to do, but I'm doing it to make it look like it's... How did he know how to do it? <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, wait, wait. We got to think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Because, again, this is a talk show. We got to talk TV on the Ringo TV Reactions channel. I'm trying to figure this out. Those of you that are in the now, you know who we're talking about. I'm just not mentioning nobody's names. Because, you know, anytime I do that, they say I'm sneak this. Or you're gossiping. Or I'm gossiping. Or I'm um, whatever. No, this is a talk show. You got to talk about it. And we got to talk about it. I'm just trying to figure out if said individual is a man, a masculine man, right? Number one, you know what? Let's talk about everything since we're talking. Since we're gossipers, <laughs> right? Since we're gossipers, since we're all of this other, all this other junk, let's give the people what they want. Talk what say you? The thumbnail. Huh? The thumbnail. The thumbnail? That, yeah, the, I found Oh, that. wow, wow. Let's talk about it. Listen, we got to talk about this one. That was disturbing to me. Do you want to explain it or you want me to explain it? Well, I'll just briefly say that was um, disturbing to me because said individual was supposed to have what? Two wives? Two wives. But you only saw one. And I saw only saw one. On the thumbnail. On the thumbnail. This is, this is crazy. Said individual recently had a baby girl that was born. After saying that me having four daughters was a curse from God. But the sad thing about this is he had an online baby shower and the very woman that gave birth first was not even on the thumbnail. Yeah. That's crazy. That was mind-boggling to me. I was like, so hold up. I, yeah, that's what I'll be like, hold up. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. So where's the black woman? <laughs> How come she's not on the thumbnail? How come said individual ain't holding both of his wives proud? Like, hey, these are my wives. I'm just trying to, I'm just asking questions. That's why we got to talk about it. Yeah, it was presented Online, because it public. seems as though the one who benefited from the baby shower was the Mexican woman. She benefited. But the black woman who gave birth first, 
She wasn't promoted. She was nowhere to be involved. And I'm trying to figure this out. If a man is a provider and a protector, right? He should already have certain things in place. Such as a crib. Crib. Those, those are the main things. Yeah. Nobody should be buying those yeah. things for you. Yeah. You yeah. should have these things. Yeah. Little basic items for a baby shower items. How, so. many, how many strollers we bought since we've been uh, parents? More than five or six or seven? Yeah. yeah. Good strollers. Good strollers, yeah. Not no cheap strollers now. And we bought all of them, right? Yeah, no one bought that. For Nobody us. bought nothing. So I'm trying to figure this out, ladies and gentlemen. I, look, I'm trying to figure out if a man is a provider. Shouldn't he be providing these things? Now, the little necessities, you know, to help you out. Yeah. But no. No, not, I'm, I'm talking about not for like the man to do it, but I'm just saying like no. the woman friends. But those are not so her friends. Said individual is a YouTuber and he came online doing an online baby shower on and home warming. On behalf of. But his women were nowhere on video dressed. So like how you're dressed? Yes. A classy lady dressed. You see how my wife is? Appreciative, thankful. Do you see how I'm here as a husband, proud to be on camera with my wife? Doing our talk show. You see that? Mm -hmm. How come said individual didn't come on camera with his woman or his wives together? I think I heard her on the side, though. I think I did, too. But the thing is, why she wasn't on camera? Why she wasn't there to thank the people? Yeah. That's disrespect. Because that means that the man was using his platform to make women become emotional into giving gifts. But he said that God blessed them. That's what he said. If God is blessing you, why see people names all over the screen? And everybody's government name was getting all on the screen. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, did y'all not realize <laughs> locations. that? Locations. People with locations were getting dropped. They were doxing themselves right on the screen. Imagine everybody's full government name was being exposed right on the stream. I'm like, <laughs> you not realize you, you exposing these people? People full name. You could literally go search it on these people now. Zip codes and addresses. I'm like, wow. That could have been a Zoom thing, a Zoom event, more private. There you go. But to me. That just goes to show it was kind of sloppy. And I think it was done a day before they were supposed to move. Mm -hmm. That's kind of strange. Yeah. But more importantly, I want to get to something to, to, to take it up another ante. <laughs> Said individual based on what we're learning, got a house. That's what I'm hearing. You heard that too? Yep. I think they were copying us, but that's another topic. I'm going to leave that alone. But. I mean, everybody should have a home. Well, everybody should, but yep. we know that said individual copied us, right? But I'm going to leave that for another topic unless you want to talk about it. But what I want to talk about is something a little more deep. That the viewer want to know. Said individual supposed to have two women that got pregnant. And he was recently in a video saying he got a new house. And how this house is there to house wives. More space, more room. Right? Mm -hmm. It's more space to house wives. Now, based on what I'm seeing, it's a four bedroom house. Yeah. Three or four? Four. Four bedroom. So let me do the math. Let me see. Um, four bedroom, two wives, right? One master bedroom. Master bedroom. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Master what? One master bedroom. So they don't have two master bedrooms. One master bedroom. So that means there's a master that be in that room. So now I have a question. I'm just asking questions because we got to talk. If you have a house with a master bedroom, 
who gets that room if if you got two wives that live in the same house? Who gets the master bedroom? Because the master bedroom normally have a bathroom that's connected with it, with closets and all that other good stuff. One main bed, um, shower. And right. Tub. Yeah. Who gets that bathroom? Who gets that room? So I want to know, based on you, the viewer, because I'm sure y'all know who I'm talking about. Which one of the wives get the master bedroom? The Mexican or the black woman? Because I want to know, because here's the thing. If the Mexican woman got the master bedroom, that means the black woman got to get one of those smaller rooms that don't have no bathroom in it. She got to walk out into the hallway. <laughs> she she got she to walk out into the hallway. So someone's going to get more so preference. Some, somebody's going to get more, get treated better. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be some conflict. There's going to be some conflict in that house. I can tell you that right now. Because the way I see it is if a man is going to have a, a, a two wives in the same house, the house needs to be built from the ground up. Meaning said individual, right, would have to purchase some land and uh, uh, build a house from scratch, have it designed. So that if you got the two wives, there are two master bedrooms. Yep. Or three, depending on how many wives you got. So that there is a bathroom in each room so that each wife have equal playing field. Because if you got a house and it has a master bedroom and you're boasting on YouTube that this house is to house wives. Yes. Shouldn't the wives each have their own quarters? Yep, that's going to take some money. Now, the, money. the way I see it is like this. If it was like this, I would have no problem. Meaning, if the man had his own private quarters, meaning the master bedroom is his bedroom, now, he might try to use what I just said <laughs> to try to make it seem like, well, that's how my layout of the house is. No. If he do, he know he got it here from me. If it was like this, I would understand. The master bedroom is his. Meaning, the main master bedroom is his bedroom. None of the wives have ownership of that bedroom. Which means the closet is his, the bathroom is his. That's his quarters. But the wives have their own room. Meaning, bedroom one, go to one wife. Bedroom two, go to the other wife. That way, none of them can complain about, oh, you got the master bedroom with him and you sleep in the same bed with him. Then who sleep with you? What about bedroom four? Well, I'm kids. trying to figure out where the kids going to sleep. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to figure out how does a man practice polygyny in a four-bedroom house? I'm trying to figure this out. Could you explain this to me, please? Hmm. I'm trying to figure this out. How do you do that? How do you practice polygyny in a four-bedroom house if you got two wives? Where the kids going to go? All in one room? Uh, um, that's, that's abuse. Yeah. If all your kids is in one room, that's abuse. The kids should have their separate room. Now, I don't know. Maybe he might do it where in the master bedroom he might put bunk beds. For the kids? No, for the wives. I don't know because I'm trying to figure this out. If it's the master bedroom, then it would be unfair. You said bunk beds. Bunk beds. So one night he going to be on top and the other one. I guess that's how you're going to have to arrange it because where the kids going to sleep? If it's a four bedroom house, that's not enough space. 
So I would have to hear your privacy. With, so right. Why? Well, either way, it doesn't make sense. This is why I'm saying a four bedroom house is not enough. That's considered inadequate space. Because if you have two wives, four bedrooms is not enough. That's not enough. Not for two wives. You got to have more space. Because based on what I saw in the video with the house, it's supposed to have three bathrooms, right? It's actually two and a half. It's a two and a half bathroom house because the bathroom on the first floor don't have no shower. Right. So I wouldn't even consider that a bathroom because you can't bath. It's just a restroom right. for guests. For guests. So it's a guest bathroom. So nobody's going to really be in there. That's not a place where you go to the shower. So let's cut that off. So it's a two bathroom house. So now the master bedroom have one shower. Right. So now. Who gets that bathroom? Because the kids need their own bathroom. Oh, wow. <laughs> the kids need their own bathroom. You can't have adults going in one bathroom and the kids in the same. Come on. So now. that means the two wives will have to share the master bedroom. I mean, master bedroom bathroom. Then. But that's that. That's not right. Because that's not scriptural. Why would you have two wives sharing the same bathroom? So when she come out the bathroom naked, she don't really got no privacy because the other wife is right there in the bed. What kind of situation is that? We got to talk about this because I, I, I just don't like what I'm seeing. Baby showers, home warming celebrations and people sleeping in the same bed. Hmm. Remember, they said that we're the gossip channel, but they're watching. <laughs> I guarantee you, all you folks out there in these YouTube streets. Is tuning in to the show because the show is only getting better. The show is only getting better. These are the things people want to hear. If a man have more than one wife, that man is having to provide something greater. You know what I mean? A larger house, not a four bedroom. Four bedrooms is not enough. I'm sorry. Four bedroom is not enough. He would have to build one on the land. But they, they didn't build nothing on no land. They didn't go to UP Farms. So there's no house over there. He needs a bigger house. You cannot have two wives with kids in a four bedroom house. No, it's inadequate space. You think you gave it away? You said the land name. No. Oh, okay. I didn't say nobody's name. Uh, but they already know who oh, I'm talking okay. about. <laughs> you, you really think all this time we're talking, they don't know who we're yeah, talking and about? And then you said, oh, let's get it out anyway. That's what you said anyway. So. They already yeah. know who we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm just not mentioning the no-name YouTuber name. Okay. They already know. My point is, he never built a house on the land. I thought there was a land initiative. That would have been a great opportunity to build on the land to show the people, hey, I got all my wives and we on the land with our children, with our kids. But he didn't do that. So now the question is, how could you promote land initiatives when you don't even live on the land? I'm just asking questions. We got to talk. This is why they don't like me, because I'm a good uh, host of a show. We're talking about a topic that the viewer is tuning into right now. And they need to ask questions, yeah, and figure out. Because, like, sometimes people don't know, you know? Like, they just so blindly, and they can't see. There you go. What we see. Well, they can't see what we see. They see it. You think they see it? Uh, the thing is, when I speak about it, people get upset. Ah. They say that I'm a gossiper. You're a hater. I'm a hater. I'm a this, you I'm a that. You have your wife talking. Uh, you have your wife talking. You said that you're not going to have your wife on camera. First of all, people don't even know what I'm talking about. When I talked about not having my wife on camera, it's having her on camera addressing the situation with the moving process. Y'all remember that moving talking process? Talking about the man, right? Right, and talking about that. Addressing a man. That yeah. I never did. This here has nothing to do with that. This is a talk show, Right?
We got to talk TV. This is a talk show. What we're talking about right now is men who basically live off of women, men who are not really providers, men who throw baby showers and home warming celebrations. I think that's very inappropriate. When I saw that video, I was like embarrassed for men. Yeah. I was embarrassed. I was like, what's going on here? Because <laughs> I'm like, um, men don't do that. Men do not do that. I'm sorry. Men don't do that. Men do not have baby showers online. And shout out to um, Skinny the Don. You know what I'm saying? Even he had some words to say about that situation. It's just an, even he would agree. Men don't do that stuff. You know? And the sad thing about this is the man is not even married to none of these women. He's not married. He's just dealing with them. Because in order to be married, you have to have a ceremony. Right or wrong? That's right. Witnesses. You just, you just can't say you're married because you get a woman pregnant. Or because you slept with her. Well, I'm married. No. You need to have a ceremony. And witnesses. For example, um, said individual's right-hand man. You know who I'm talking about. Yep. Didn't he recently have a wedding? Yep. A big ceremony. A big ceremony, right? And a lot of people and witnesses. Okay. So that means he was not married to the woman. You see that? He was not married. Right. So if he had a wedding... He now married her. And made it official. So he, that means the whole time he was not married. It's a contract. That means the whole time he was not married. Yeah. So that means if he was sleeping with her, he was not married. Mm. So what exactly is this guy doing if he's getting women pregnant and he's not married to them? Is that biblical? No. So why are people given to baby showers and home warming celebrations to a man that didn't even honor the women that he's with. And, con and they're saying congratulations. They're saying it's a blessing. That's what I keep, that's what's sad about this. Congratulations, congratulations. It's such a blessing. I'm like, man, this is sad. This is really, really sad. How is this a blessing? How? When it's not even being done properly. Ladies and gentlemen, men. Men don't have baby showers. Men don't do that. Uh, yeah, I never heard of that. I never even seen that. Like, <sighs> I can't believe that, it. That was the first, I guess, for me. I never seen nothing like that. I couldn't believe it. I said, this got to be a joke. And then I continued looking. He was the host. And I didn't see none of the wives come on camera to say thank you, to show their face, or even to show the baby. Nothing. Something, yeah. And all I saw was women giving money. And I was like, wow, this is like, it felt like witchcraft to me because women were given all their money. Not men, and only women. Some were saying, I didn't even have it, but you know. When yeah, I one that. person, <laughs> one person said they're recovering from the hurricane. Right. The Helen or whatever. And they'll give something. They'll later. give something next time. I'm like, wow. So people are literally giving money when they're in need themselves. That's sad, man. They were never saying the items cost this less cheap. Like, huh? People were buying pots and pot shelves and uh, uh, fire extinguishers. And I'm like, man. Oh, and another thing, two of each. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. That was, items. that was crazy. He had items that was in the cart. And it's like if people bought like knives or this or he, I hot think sets. he asks. And he asked who? He, I think he asked like his woman. I think yeah. Is it a mistake? And she was It like, is no. a mistake. Which means they had a quantity of two by mistake. No, but she said no. I know, but people made orders. We saw the different names. Mm -hmm. So people paid twice for items that all they needed was one. And people are so easily deceived, they literally went with the program. It's disgusting. I, I just don't get it. That's why we got to talk about it, because I'm trying to figure this thing out. As a man, for example, me, myself, right? Um, in this journey uh, to North Carolina, right? It taught me a lot about being a man. 
It taught me a lot about being a provider. It taught me a lot about how I have to really be a responsible adult to make sure that I'm doing my best to take care of my family. Yeah, um, strive. It's, it's like, huh? so you strive to do your best. Right, and, and I did it on my own. own yeah. So it's like to see this individual doing baby showers and a home warming, warming parties. I didn't do that. It's like looking for a handout. Like That's exactly what it is. Say that again. I'm looking for a handout. Because of not wanting to provide. Which means the individual didn't provide for his home. And I think that as men, we need to make sure that our priorities are in order. I'm not saying you can't receive gifts right. from people over time. But I feel that as a man, if you go out there and you impregnate women, uh, you got to prepare for the cost. It costs to be the boss, right? So if you impregnate two women, you know you got to take care of kids. So you got to provide cribs, bassinets, diapers, 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 onesies, baby bottles. And that's if you're using formula. Because the women should be breastfeeding, but, mm -hmm. you know, these women nowadays, they just want I, formula. I think I saw bottles. Uh, 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 you might have to get, like, um, you know, things for vapor. You know those things that for vapor, yeah. for breathing, stuff like that. Um, breast pumps, you know, those type of things. And just create a nursery for the child, which means one bedroom is supposed to be the nursery. Mm -hmm. So if you got four bedrooms in a house... Uh, it's going to be pretty tight because now one room has to be the nursery. Master bedroom is for the man or the woman. I don't know how that situation works. So the nursery work. for both babies? Well, the nursery could be for both babies because they're, they're small. Baby. Mm -hmm. You don't want them in separate rooms yet. They're small. But my point is uh, it goes back to a lot. Like, Look, let's look at this thing logically. Because a lot of y'all are going to say that we're hating. But let's think about this. The individual was walking through the house and people in the comments was like, where the studio going to be? So now it's no longer a four bedroom house. <laughs> oh, God. Because one bedroom has to be a studio. Mm -hmm. So now we're dealing with three bedrooms. Right. So now if one bedroom is a nursery, one bedroom have to house one of the wives. And then the other wife, the special wife, <laughs> the special one, she gets the master bedroom. She gets to spend more time with the husband. This is going to be a crazy situation. I want to know how this is going to turn out. They might say we're going to make it work. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work because <laughs> at the end of the day, there's going to be room. There's going to be jealousy in play. Because I want to know who's going to have the master bedroom. Somebody said, you all up in people business. How? <laughs> we got to talk about it. How am I up in people business when their business is on social media for us to talk about? You're fully examining what's going on. Listen. I don't think there's nothing wrong with listen, it. Listen. There's nothing wrong with it. If I have two wives in the same house, they got to be room. And we have to have some sort of plan on how this going to work. That's why I said earlier, the only way it could work is if... The individual have the master bedroom to himself, meaning none of the wives have access to that room, meaning this room is not your room. This is my chamber, my quarters, right? My, I'm the master of the house. And now the wives have their own separate bedrooms, right. separate bedrooms. So that's three. So that's three. And then the fourth bedroom is the nursery for the kids. That's the only way. That situation is going to work out in an organized matter. But when them kids get older, that's when things are going to change. You're going to start to need space because you're going to run out of space quickly. And especially if there's a boy and a girl. Oh, yeah. Now the girl going to need her own the room space, and yeah. privacy. Yep. And the boy going to need his own room and privacy. Because if you have a girl and a boy being raised in the same bedroom, that's not right. So... They're going to end up having to move within the next four years. They got to move. Based on the math. I'm looking at the math and I'm looking at a weather forecast 
of what's coming down the pipeline. Because if he do it that way, now the studio is going to have to be downstairs in the living room or in the kitchen. Kitchen, yeah. So it's going to be in a place where it's going to be too noisy because everybody's so going to be traffic it, it back and forth. It would have to be in the master bedroom. Well, I don't know how could a studio be in a master bedroom now. That's not <laughs> Give, much of a studio. We're giving him his layout. <laughs> I mean, this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens when you put your business on social media, though. I'm just talking about it. I didn't commit no crime. Did I? Did I do something wrong? No. Did he put his business on social media? Did he tell everybody that he got a house? Did he show us different rooms? So all I'm doing is sharing my, right. my commentary. He said it's for his wives. Right. He so. said he said this house is adequate for for housing wives. So that's like kind of mocking. Mocking me. It's not really mocking me. There's six bedrooms in this house. <laughs> so that's not really mocking me. I really don't care what he got. I'm not here to compete. Right. I'm just here to do my show. We got to talk about this issue. If a man have more than one wife, that man should be able to provide. He should be able to provide. I want to know why is it that people are providing for a man that just went and got a house. That's not your responsibility. He went and got a house. I think that was the excuse of, you know, being that the babies are on the way and the house. But that would be a plan, meaning that they planned this. <laughs> they planned to use people to furnish the house. No, they said the, the people came to them. No, the people didn't come to them. That's a lie. That's what they said. It goes back to the last video we did about how people put out fake stories. Nobody comes to nobody like that. Did anybody come to me? <laughs> Did anybody come to me and say, hey, Ringo, you just got the house. Maybe you could start something up so we can have a house warming and pay for this and pay for that. Did anybody do Nobody, that? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody did that. So what makes you think somebody did that for him? It's mm -hmm. a lie. He's saying that. And that's what's making everybody do whatever they do. Because if he didn't start that show, nobody was given nothing. It's planned to hustle the people. He had about, like, what, 200 people? 200 people wasn't a lot compared to all his regular women. show. All women. All women. It was nothing but women in the, in the comments. That's what was crazy about this. So, uh, so let me ask you a question. Are women that emotional? Yes. That's Very crazy. emotional driven. Because all I saw was women giving. I didn't see really no men. You had a few men that gave or was trying to give. They were having trouble with their credit card. That's why most women or some women are easily persuaded. I think that's what it is. It's just unfortunate. Ladies, look, you have to have a man that's going to provide. Like, seriously. Um, I have my own struggles. I have my own issues. But one thing that I appreciate is the fact that I make it happen and I figure out a way of how to get out of a dilemma. Right. And I think that as a man... Even if you don't got it, right? You got to know how to do without until you're able to make the money to buy the things that you desire. And I just don't believe in everybody bailing people out when they uh, uh, go out there and do certain things or live above their means or do things that they really can't afford. And then people start to bail them out. I don't like that. I think that that's abuse. I feel that if a man go out there and get a house, he's supposed to count the cost and know, okay, if I got this house, it's going to cost this much money to furnish this house. Exactly. So that he can properly do what he need to do. But if you go get that house and you don't have no clue what you're going to do. No budgeting. No budgeting. Count everything you're being accounted for. And you now want people to come in and pay. What's, what's, what's ahead down the road then? What's going to be the joy of building the house if everybody else did everything for you? What's the joy of knowing like, wow, we bought our first pot set? Like the, the recent pot set we bought for the house. Did somebody buy that? Nope. All right. So we went out and got it. Right. So it feels good to know that we went and got that. We because, started off with a, a smaller brand. Right. We started set. off with something cheap. Right. And then, and then we bought an, an expensive pot set. 
But that's my point. A lot of times people don't go through the struggle. People bail them out. So now what happens if something comes up and the individual struggles? That's what I was saying. I'm down along the line. Right. Right. What if something happened that the individual starts to really struggle? Then what? Because now he's going to come back to the people and be like, look, guys, I'm going through it. People ain't going to be too happy to want to be supportive because they're going to be like, wait a minute now. We supported you in the beginning. We gave you a helping hand. And you still struggling now? You still don't have yourself together. So what's really going on here? You don't got yourself. So you ain't doing nothing to, to maintain. This is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that having gifts or people supporting you. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But that's not should, what I'm saying. You should be able to. You should be able to supply the, the, the needs of your family by yourself. Especially if you just started. If I know I just had a newborn baby. There are certain things I should have as a man provided for already. A crib, bassinet, teddy bears, toys, little play things for the crib, stroller. Dressers. You know, dresser drawers, uh, onesies, a thousand pampers, all the different sizes. All of these different things should have already done been bought. Now, if you had a baby shower and friends and families wanted to be supportive and buy extra little on. gifts, right, that's okay. But I, as a man, should have already done, did this. Yep, when we first had our baby. Right, we did what we had to do, right? Yeah. And then you, you also had a baby shower. At work, yep. And they came through for you. Mm -hmm. But we bought majority of all the big items. We didn't wait for somebody else to do it. You the one having these kids. Why everybody else is footing the bill? All I'm saying is... As a man, you're supposed to be providing, not living off of women. If you got two women pregnant, you better have two cribs. Don't wait for us, the people, to foot your bill. Don't wait for us, the people, to get your child pampers if you didn't buy none. It's one thing if you spent $500 on pampers. And you have a large supply for months down the road. And then your woman had a baby shower and her family came through for her. Mm -hmm. Her friends came through for her. Because here's the thing that I'm looking at. If this individual had an online home warming celebration and a, a baby shower, then are you going to have another baby shower behind the scenes with her family? And her friends. Because it sounds to me like this is a hustle. <laughs> this oh, is a boy. hustle. It's a hustle. Because the people online don't know your women personally. They know you. So for you to be using women and children to capitalize to get gifts from females on social media, that's a scam in my book. Hmm. That's a scam, and that's not manly. And any man in his rightful mind would agree with me. I would not feel like a man knowing that all these good people out here started showering me with gifts, and I didn't do nothing for my own family yet. I would feel some type of way as a man. Yeah. To know that all these gifts came in. Now, mind you, gifts are good. Yeah. Everybody would receive gifts, but me personally as a man, I would not feel good Knowing I didn't buy no stroller, I didn't buy no crib, these people basically bailed me out of my mess. Right, because you, you had to put that on the list, right? So, Which means said individual's woman started to add what she want and made him come online <laughs> to pimp his family in order to get gifts. He's a pimp. That's exactly what it is. He's pimping his family. He's exploiting his house in order to earn. That's exactly what it is. I'm just, listen, I'm just saying what needs to be said because the people saying it. The people that are in the clouds viewing right now are saying the same thing. They won't, uh, I, yeah, they won't say it. So we, no, I, they're saying it they're in the chat. It? They're saying it in the chat right now. Oh, because I didn't see anything in the chat. 
That's what I'm saying. I ain't we're saying recording. That. Oh, How could you, oh, you see mean like now? Recording? No, I'm talking about. I'm saying during the baby shower. They're not going to say that because say. those are his people. I'm talking about my people oh, that okay. are viewing this video yeah. on the playback as a premiere. Right, okay. They're going to be in this live chat saying he's exploiting his house. He's exploiting and pimping his family. But because saying, what man does that? But what about the people? Like, okay, you had all congratulations in the chat. That's fake congratulations. Them. That's fake congratulations. Those people are just saying that to say it. It's called situational ethics. Right. Okay, so that anybody that would come against it, I guess they would probably block and remove them. Anybody that speak against it, they're going to say you're hating. Right, okay. They're going to say I'm hating. They're going to say I'm jealous for making this video. This is a talk show, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't like it, you could leave. <laughs> Here, we got to talk. We got to talk TV. We got to talk about these issues. Men are supposed to be providers. Now, I'm not saying if you fell on hard times that it's wrong for you to seek help from the people. My thing is this. If this individual went out there to purchase a home or whatever the situation, whatever home he got, if he went out there to do that, said individual should already have counted the cost to be a boss. In other words, if I got this house, I got to make sure that I can furnish this. I got to make sure that I can provide monthly uh, mortgage, rent, whatever the situation is, because I got to pay for water. I got to pay for trash. Mm -hmm. I got to pay for electrical. I got to pay for food. I got to pay for gas. You got to count all the costs. You got to look at land maintenance. You got to look at pest control. You got to look at internet. Phone you got to look at bill. phone. You got to look at all different types of bills that got to come into play. So as a man, you got to look at this and say, can I afford this? Yeah. And if you can, but it's a little tight, then I got a budget. Meaning, I cannot be out here spending reckless. We're going to live within our means. We're going to all work together to maintain the house and do what needs to be done. That's the leadership of a man. It doesn't mean... We shopping for new cars and buying this and buying that. It means we got to live within our means to survive and build and grow. So the method of the madness here is a man is supposed to already have things in place. So if this individual got two women pregnant, that's nine months in advance. He should already done had a crib, mm -hmm. strollers and everything. And also these women... Yeah. Microphone. Also, these women, they're not going to be able to work right That's away. That's another thing. So, uh oh, all the bills will be footed on that man. Yeah. That's another question. Who's paying on, the bills? Which brings on stress. I want to know who's paying the bills. Because if a man is practicing polygyny, right, we got to talk about it. Are the women working? Like, in other words, is the, the individual that we're speaking of, is the women working? I want to know. But if they are, they're going to be out of work for a few they're months. They're going to be out of work for at least six months. Right. So for six months, he would have to carry the load, which means he got to do a lot of YouTube videos. That's a lot of videos, a lot of content. A lot of mouths to feed. That's going to cause stress. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. I mean, it's possible to do it. Yeah. But I want to know, is this individual requiring that his women work or stay at home? Because I, I never heard him say. Do, is he requiring the wives? I mean, because said individual said in a video that... After he moved, he's never going to talk about people like me and the other brothers. So I want to know, is he going to still talk about us after this video? Because technically today, he shouldn't be talking about nobody. He should be focusing on moving and getting into his house with his family. Yep, that's what he said. So I want to know, is the wives required to work and do they currently have jobs? I want to know. Because I know that he used them to get where he is. I know that. I already did my research. 
So I already know he used them to acquire uh, the property. I already know that. So it's very clear they most likely have jobs. But will he be able to maintain during the six months they're out of work? And who's babysitting? Well, that's another. Wow. Let's talk about it. We got to talk about it. <laughs> My good. I didn't even think of that one. Who's babysitting if the women got to go to work? If the wives got to go to work, who's watching the babies? New breed? Oh, I said his name. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oops. I made a mistake. <laughs> I want to know. No, nah, I meant to do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I want to oh, know God. who is watching the babies. If the wives got to work and they got to go out in the streets, who's watching the, the kids? It would have to be him. Yep. He would have to be the babysitter. But how are he going to do that and do content? How are he going to watch babies and argue with YouTubers all day? How are he going to do it? It's a lot of maneuvering. Yeah. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, but hey, we might have to do another video. I hope this was very entertaining for you. Mm -hmm. I hope this was educational for you. Uh, this was definitely a needed video. I hope that this really opened your mind because it's very important. Because if a man practices polygyny, ladies and gentlemen, there's different ways he can do it. If he have the wives in the same house, he needs to provide... Uh, a living space for these women, meaning they should have their own separate room, right? It cannot be where he have the master bedroom with one wife. That's disrespectful because if the master bedroom have one wife and that wife get to have a, a, a private bathroom and the other wife don't have that, that's wicked because now she got to share the bathroom that the kids use. No, she should have her own bathroom, her own toilet. Her own privacy where she could put her soaps, her closet is there, and she can freshen up for her husband. Oh, wait, he said in the video, his and her bathroom. Right, his and her bathroom. That's what he stressed. Yeah. Right. His and her bathroom. That did not make no sense, his and her. Well, who, how could it be if you have two wives? You mean to tell me two wives are sharing the same bathroom? That's unsanitary, fam. No, because one wife would want her bathroom to have her fragrances on the, the, the bureau and at the sink. Yeah. Whereas the other woman, she have her own privacy. Of course, two wives should be able to work together, but they got to have their own privacy. Imagine you got to go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet, but the kids are using the same toilet. You said the kids. <laughs> well, we're, we're in the South. So, you <laughs> so know, out here, out here in North Carolina, you know, you have to kind of get the vernacular of the people. All right, then. So, you know, later on, I might put something on the grill, <laughs> you know, because we don't, in the South, we don't say that we having a barbecue. You got to say, I'm putting something on the grill. Something on the grill. I'm putting something on the grill. Put something on the grill. <laughs> Sister Carol, put something on the grill. That's how you got to do it. So, you know, it's either, you know, you could go in your New York voice, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it is what it is in these streets. You know, in New York, you got, yeah, I got one more. We're going to have a barbecue, barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Next week, we're going to head out to Prostic Park. You know what I mean? You have a barbecue. Get out shopping it is what it is. Not a buggy. You know, in these streets. But now, when you're in North Carolina, you know, you got to switch up your vernacular a little bit because, you know, my pa during supper, he told me one time that out in the country, there's a certain way in which you have to live. And a lot of men just don't know how to survive. And they're using women to survive. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much how they do it. Because, you know, out in New York, you know, a lot of these brothers out here, they don't know how to survive. That's just the way they do it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get up on out of here. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, Ringo TV Reactions. And make sure you subscribe to our new channel. We, we Gotta, gotta talk, talk TV. TV. That's We, we gotta, gotta Talk, talk TV. TV. Subscribe today over there. I think we have about 300 subscribers. We're trying to get to 1,000.
thousand subscribers over there and pretty much by the time we start doing content uh the thousand plus people that are over there are official yes. viewers that watch this platform so it's going to be on and popping over there so hope you're enjoying these shows this is just a taste of we gotta talk tv when we actually go live doing that particular show we're gonna have three camera angles a separate camera in the center one on the right, one on the left, and it's going to be on and popping. I'm going to be right here controlling the whole show right here and have the mix board over here. I'm going to be like a DJ like this. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of entertainment. It's going to be good vibes and good visuals. So that being said, we're going to sign out right now. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Catch you in the next one, fam. Peace. We out of here. Peace and blessings. We out. Peace.